Okay, today we're going we're going to do an install of this uh, this uh, wall switch here. I want you to take notice of something here. You'll see that there is a a um, whoops, I can't see it myself. There's a neutral ground uh, line within the L1, which is the switch itself. Let me explain what that is. On, on these, this is a normal switch. This is what I'm going to be replacing, okay? You'll see a black wire coming in and a black wire going out. All this is, is this is the power being interrupted going to these hideous lights we have here that I haven't replaced yet. But, on, um, on this one, in the back, you can't see it, there's... Right back there, you see in the background, that's my ground wire, which is a, usually, in the U.S., it's a bare copper wire. Your black is hot, and then there's a uh, wire called, there's a white wire, it's called neutral wire. Now this, unlike this, this is just a simple switch. This is a powered unit. So what you need to do is you need to hook your neutral here, which is the white wire, your ground here, which of course is bare copper wire, then your black wire, which is your line wire, right here. Because it has to power this box to do all the function that it does. Bring up the Wi-Fi, bring up the, the uh, control schedule, and uh, then you run the light to that one. So you have to make sure you know which one is which when it comes to which one goes to the light and which one goes to the, uh, which one goes to the power. The way you do that is you disconnect the lights, or you disconnect the circuit breaker, then you take one of these off and get a meter or a, a voltage probe, they're pretty cheap, you can pick them up at Walmart I'm sure, or a voltmeter, and then you just have to measure from the here to, from the, uh, from ground or, or neutral to find out which one of these wires is hot. The one that's hot the one that has voltage on it will go to this line, the line switch right here, the L. The one that doesn't will go to L1. Because the Wi-Fi, when you when you tell the smart the smart app when you tell it to turn on, or in my case we're gonna use Google Home, um, then it will actually take the voltage from here and switch it over to here. And then you got your lights on. And that's that part of it, so I hope that makes sense. Okay, so now we're going to check the voltage since I've already taken the power, turned the power off. Took off the switch, turned it back on, so I'm looking for... Uh, that is... That's the hot wire right here, so I know that one's hot. Because if I do this other one... In here, in here... So I'm touching that to the neutral wire. And I have half a volt, which is um, just floating. Okay, so now this step is to um, turn the power back off since I know this bottom wire is the hot wire. Then I got to pull my copper wire back there in the back. You see that little wire net sticking up? That's my uh, ground wire. Now, if you don't have a, you don't have a two wire system. There's no ground wire on the back of this. On the back of the uh, the box here, you can actually take the neutral, the neutral and ground, and wire them together. That's uh, actually, uh, actually that's how most fuse boxes are done in the U.S. or at least in Texas. Um, back in your breaker panel, you'll see that they're they go to separate bars, but they're still wired together. It's just kind of weird. Anyway, uh, that's it for that part. Okay, now this is how the unit's installed, at least the wires are plugged in, with this first one, oh, hard to go, there we go, with this one of course being going to the light fixture, this one going to power, that's your bare copper, uh, your ground, and there's your neutral wire. Now you notice there's no, you can't see anything, no gap of, of uh, metal here, you want it to be flush up against the casing. So you're not showing any metal on those three wires. Anyway, that's that part. Okay, the next part will be mounting the switch to the wall. Now what I did was 
take you have to remove this little panel the way you do that is on the top here let's see if I can get over there there's a little slot right there you stick a screwdriver in and it just pries up and that's the, I call that the top because or you can have the hole on the top but you don't want that so put that on top just pry that up this goes up here you just mount it and then it snaps into that and uh, I'll be back with programming in a few okay now I got this now I've got this switch all set up um, turns on and off here like I showed you before then I just got it integrated to Google they say hey Google turn kitchen lights off okay turning off the kitchen lights there you go hey Google turn kitchen lights on okay turning the kitchen lights on you can also say, hey Google, turn all lights off. Oops, you didn't hear me. Hey Google, turn all lights off. Sure, turning three lights off. And that's it. If you have any questions, uh, I don't know, post them below.